Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach, the only podcast where you get answers to all your guitar-related questions. If you're interested in developing your guitar skills and reaching your music goals, please send me an email at the email address ioannis at ioannis.org. That is I-O-A-N-N-I-S at I-O-A-N-N-I-S dot org so that I can let you know about all the different packages of Elite Guitar Coaching and how you can get private coaching by me. Without further ado, let's go to our question for the day. Do I need to use an amplifier to practice electric guitar? So here's a really good question and something that I hear from a lot of beginner and even intermediate students. They tell me, oh, I want to practice, but it's late at night or it's after, it's uh, middle of the day. I cannot use my amplifier, so I have to wait for, uh, to get early in the morning or something like that because I cannot practice. No, this is not true. You can do 80% of your guitar practice, probably 80% is good, without an amplifier. Most of the things, I, I practice a lot of time without an amplifier. A lot of my practice work is done with an ampli- without an amplifier. I'll try to illustrate what things you can do and what things you cannot do without an amplifier. Now, right away, I'll go to improvisation. No, improvisation, you need to use your amplifier. You need to have an actual guitar sound. It doesn't have to be from an amplifier. We can find other ways, but you do need an actual sound. However, basic technical work like alternate picking or legato once you have it under your finger or even sweeping, the vast majority of the exercises can be done without an amplifier. You don't really need to necessarily have it. Now, is it better? It's slightly better because you can hear the sound quality better and you can also hear if you need to do any um, muting, fine tuning. But once again, we're not trying to find a perfect solution, we're trying to find the best available solution. So, instead of wasting, let's say, the late night hours of practice because you cannot use an amplifier, just practice without an amplifier and then then just do an extra 10 to 20% that will be with the amplifier to fine-tune what you have already practiced. So let's go over a couple of examples. Anything that has Alternate picking, I will play without an amplifier right now. Anything that has chordal picking, I'm just playing without an amplifier or even sweeping. You can still do without an amplifier. Now, obviously, I have these things under my finger, so if you're just practicing for the first time, you're not sure if it's gonna sound good if you play it with an amplifier, but once you learn the mechanics, then definitely practice without an amplifier. Let's move on to strumming and rhythm guitar. Definitely no amplifier needed, so. Sounds perfectly fine without any amplifier, you really don't need to use it. Will it sound better with an amplifier? Yes. Are you going to have fun with an amplifier more? Yes. Is it necessary? No. So, once again, if you have the opportunity to use the amplifier, do it. But do not use this. This is the bottom line. Don't use this as an excuse to get away from your practicing just because you don't have an amplifier. So now you're going to tell me, okay, man, you just told us that you don't need amplifier for just about anything else except like maybe improvisation. Is it true? Kind of. But before we get there, what about your scales, chords, arpeggios and things like that? Definitely no amplifier needed. You can practice your scales without an amplifier. It's all the minor major scales. Any kind of technique, no amplifier needed. So there is a very big assortment of things you can do on the guitar, you can practice on the guitar without using an amplifier. So what things do you need to use an amplifier for? Well, basically anything 
that uses legato, hammer on and pull-offs, or a combination of legato and tapping and string skipping with legato and tapping. So if I, was be, I would be playing something like that, it will sound much better if I have an amplifier. I can do it without the amplifier, but you can see how it doesn't sound enough. It, it's not strong enough. The sound is not strong enough because I don't have the attack. So if you're playing legato, if you're playing uh, some string skipping legato, if you're playing some tapping, it's gonna sound much better with the amplifier. Now, this is gonna be very easy for you. So. If, for example, let's say that you cannot practice from 3 to 5 in the afternoon because people are asleep and you don't want to bother them. But you can practice from 5 to 6. Just make sure you practice the stuff that you can do without the amplifier from 3 to 5 and then keep the stuff that you can practice with the amplifier from 5 to 6. It's really, it's, it, it's not like, uh, I don't know, it's not rocket science. It's basically basic logic on how you can manage your schedule like that. So what happens if you actually want to concentrate on techniques that do need an amplifier, as I mentioned, legato or uh, tapping or combination leaks, because combination leaks are difficult to do without an amplifier. Combination leaks are leaks that combine different techniques. So sweeping with tapping, with string skipping, with wide stretches, they are very, very difficult to do without an amplifier. Well, the best idea is to use your cell phone and connect your guitar to your cell phone and then use one of the multi-effect plugins. There are many free ones even available that you can use to practice with headphones. And then you're gonna be fine. You can actually have a regular sound and you're not gonna be bothering anyone and you can practice whatever you want without an actual amplifier that will make all this noise. So there you have it. For the vast majority of things, you do not need to be using an amplifier to practice your electric guitar playing. And for those that you do need to use an amplifier, there are solutions available. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next episode of Vasta Guitar Coach. Until then, please make sure you send me your questions and I'll make sure to answer them in one of the future videos. Bye bye.